this is the reason why we're doing this. All the tests and uh, gonna be changing out the cleaning out the injectors and stuff like that. See that haze there? It's a little bit more when she starts up lately. This is a uh, more of a recent thing. This is my uh, this is my truck. Alright, I've been having some problems with my Duramax. Uh, I've been getting the haze at idle and uh, white smoke issues. So I had went ahead and bought this uh, upper engine injector cleaner. And um, we're going to try and use it, but first I'm trying to set up uh, Torque Pro. And uh, I'm use Torque Pro and set that up, see if we can't check the balance rates and see how they're doing and then see the difference between them at first so we'll watch the balance rates run the injectors and then uh yeah we'll run the injectors and uh then we'll see how they do afterwards but this is uh v's peak i got this off of amazon and uh that's just down there in the obd2 reader so what we're doing is we're setting up our our current balance rates this is cylinder one two three and four so we're gonna go ahead and add display digital display go down till you see balance rates all the green are available if you wait long enough these will pop up and show green there they are so we'll go cylinder five set it medium because that's what the rest of them are i'm just setting up my own preference for my own dashboard you can do whatever you'd like So we're looking for cylinder six. Medium. It's an older tablet. It's a little glitchy. Digital display. Cylinder seven. Medium. I really hope the injectors aren't on their way out so far from what I'm glancing at I haven't been really able to monitor it yet but it doesn't look terrible so maybe I have another issue which also isn't very good but all right so we have five six and seven and now we have eight so these are my current balance rates uh, I had a problem at first setting up this uh, this app this is the torque pro don't waste your time with the basic version uh bought the this is like five dollars the this adapter off amazon i don't know sixteen dollars or something stupid like that there's cheaper ones but they're not guaranteed to work this was packaged nice it's pretty nice so i'll show you how the the app works when you first start this is uh your status that little car shape so That'll let you know if you if it is connected to your vehicle or not. So what you want to do is set up a, a profile. This is my profile for my Duramax. And I just have uh, the weight of the truck and display and all that happy horse shit. Um, uh, this was a Bluetooth and Wi-Fi adapter. It's pre-set as, uh, as a Bluetooth reader. So I had to go into the settings over here. And... Uh, over to adapter settings and it says bluetooth settings right there i had to click that change that to wi-fi connect wi-fi on the tablet and anytime you make a major change you want to exit the app start it over again and then do it um the other problem was it wasn't reading any of my sensors and to get to the balance rates you had to go to settings i believe uh manage extra pids and sensors these were not here, this was a blank menu. So you'd have to go up to here in the top right, add predefined set, and then add your vehicle. This is a GM, it's a Duramax, so click the GM the PIDs. So that was easy enough. So then you can go to real-time information, and uh, you could set this all up. I just started, I don't have any of it really set up, but you can see here's the, the RPMs. Uh, coolant temperature sitting at about 130. Uh, 
hasn't been running very long, maybe 10, 15 minutes. But here's my uh, bounce rates. This is what we came here for. Uh, GM recommends plus or minus four. So, so far, we're looking all right. Cylinder six got a little high there for a second, but I don't know. I'm gonna monitor these on and off. Oh, cylinder six, four. So cylinder six is a little rough. They also recommend plus or minus six if you're in drive, but my truck's stick. And I'm not quite sure how that works with the stick truck. Because if you put it in drive, there's obviously a load on the truck. If I put it in gear and hold the clutch in, it really don't do much. So if I let the clutch out and just my foot on the brake and just let the truck work. So cylinder one goes up to about five. Push the clutch back in. Idle this out for a second. So we'll just keep an eye on these. But that's basically how you do it. You get the app, set it up a little bit. It takes a second for it to recognize. And like I said, if you make any changes, exit the app. Come back into it. This is the Torque Pro app. And uh, we're going to be monitoring my uh, Duramax. It's a 03 LB7 ZF6 manual transmission. Uh, 168,000 miles on it. Uh, I don't have a whole lot of history on the truck. Um, so I really can't tell you a whole lot about it. But cylinder 1, 6, and 8. I like to move around quite a bit. So I'll, I'll do these at like cold starts or something like that. I'll be checking it for the next couple days. Uh, maybe today and tomorrow, and then I'll run the stuff through it tomorrow. The fuel, the fuel injector cleaner. I'll make a separate video probably of showing you how to do that. This will be the how to operate the Torque Pro app, and then uh, we'll have a separate video on that. But I think you could change the data here. Move the display, bring it front, bring it back, delete display. We'll add a uh, add display, dial meter, and let's see what else we can add on here. There's millions of uh, things here. AFRs. Let's see if there's an EGT. Fuel pressure. Not that I really need the EGT. Oh, EGT. I have a gauge there for that. These are uh, glow shift gauges my boost fuel pressure uh, that sent that fuel pressure sensor is not hooked up because I don't have a lift pump I don't know if that really matters or not but I was told it does so uh, I'm gonna play around for this a little bit if you have any questions I, I could probably make another video or answer them for you um, it oil life monitor oil pressure um, outside air temperature I guess anything that my truck could possibly monitor so we're gonna play with this a little bit and then uh, we'll see what happens